its honor, glory, and praise. We ask you, Father, that your Holy Spirit will guide us and reveal to us all truth, Father. May your peace rest upon us. May your people receive a sign and wonder and a miracle tonight. May you set the captives free, Father. May you bless us with your teaching. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Welcome amen. all of you to the Zoom prophetic teaching. Let's give a clap offering to the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Nobody gave it. The, that was very amen. weak. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I say let's give a clap offering to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The title of this prophetic teaching is The Revelation of Prophetic Spiritual Fasting. The Revelation of Prophetic Spiritual Fasting. We just came out of a, of a fast and we ended it today. And we thank the Lord for his strength. We have received um, a lot of things, those that have <laughs> been fasting. Um, one of the um, uh, of the things is that um, fasting, prophetic spiritual fasting is to um, abstain yourself from food and, and not to feed the flesh so much, but to feed the spirit. And he say amen. 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 How many say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Um, there's uh, um, who's this on the on the Zoom that is the, by the name of Gina? Who is that on the Zoom by the name of Gina Evangelist? Um, I asked them to unmute their mic. Their mic. Okay, but who is that though? I don't see any picture yet, Papa. There's no video or camera yet. I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. Um. Can the person right there with Gina just put your picture so I can see who you are? Um, can you unblock him? Um, oh, they actually are just left. Okay. All right. Be 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 careful because I want you to be wise on everything. And, and and as we go, I'm, I'm seeing everything. The Lord just told me to be very alert for distractions on this Zoom meeting. Mm. Hallelujah. How many say amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Welcome, everyone. Um, the revelation of prophetic spiritual fasting. Um, tonight, you're going to, we, we talked about fasting, prophetic fasting last week. But we're gonna go into a deeper round um, this um, this evening, and I'm gonna release five prophetic keys for you. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. This this kind of fasting, what it does, hallelujah, it gets you closer to God, and 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 it increases your faith to a higher level, to a higher dimension. How many want to go to a higher level, to a higher dimension in 2023? Amen. 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 Number one, this prophetic fasting, it makes you to rely totally on God and hunger for him 100%. Uh -huh. A lot of people uh, in these last days, they're not... Um, Hunger for they're not being hungry for God, they're not being thirsty for God. Um, they're they're not totally depending on God, they're depending uh on themselves, they're depending on people, they're depending on their own resources. But guess who the resources come from? God says, All the silver and all the gold is mine. 
all the money, all the possessions, your house, your car, everything that you have belongs to God. How many say amen? Amen. 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 Let's go to Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. But first you seek God into prophetic fasting. First you put him first, and then all these things will be added unto you. Wish things. <laughs> Wish things. The things, the things that you never have asked God for. Nobody <laughs> said anything. Amen. Amen. See, this will be the year that you don't have to. Uh, I'm going to put it this way. Many people pray and they fast only when they want something from God. But when you start living this lifestyle as a <laughs> daily habit in your spiritual walk with God, you never are going to even have to ask him for anything because these things, God will release the things that you need and the things that you want. How many say amen? Amen. Amen. It will come automatically, thus says the Lord. Say, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Number two, this prophetic um, fasting, um, it fills you with the fruits of the Spirit. Amen. Uh, amen. It fills you with the fruits of the Spirit, and you don't fall into your emotions. Amen. Amen. See, when you're filled, with with a spirit, no matter what happens, um, no matter what comes your way, you know, you're not gonna get into your emotions, into your feelings. You're not gonna get sentimental, but you're gonna be strong in the spirit, man. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Let's go to the word of God in Galatians chapter five, verse twenty-two and twenty-three. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, and peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. How many say amen? Amen. So number one, you, you rely totally on God and you hunger for for God, 100%. <laughs> Dependes en Dios totalmente y tienes hambre para, para, para Dios 100%. Y siempre dependiendo en Él 100%. Esto es lo que eh, el ayuno profético hace en nuestras vidas. This is what prophetic um, fasting does in our lives. Number two, número dos. Estar lleno del Espíritu Los frutos del Espíritu, be filled with the fruits of the Spirit and don't fall into your emotions. Estar llenos de los frutos del Espíritu y no caer en tus emociones. Y Gálatas 5, 22, 23. Número 3, number 3. Become sensitive to hear God's voice. <laughs> Prophetic fasting makes you to become... Very sensitive to God's voice. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. <laughs> this I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Estar llenos del espíritu y no vas a satisfacer la carne. See, that's why a lot of people are walking in the flesh because they never feel their spirit man. So yeah. you, it's common sense. If you feel the spirit man, you'll be um, filled with the spirit and you will not give into the flesh. Es bien sencillo. Si tú te llenas del espíritu, no le vas a dar puerta abierta a la carne. Let's go to the word of God. Galatians 5.16, Galatas capítulo 5, versículo 16. Galatians 5, 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. See, you become 
more filled with the spirit that you become very sensitive to hear the voice of God. How many say amen? Amen. Te comienzas a llenar del espíritu más y comienzas a ser bien sensible para escuchar la palabra profética de Dios. But when you're, you don't feel the spirit, it's less that you, he, that you become sensitive. Cuando tú no te llenas del espíritu, eres menos sensible para escuchar la voz de Dios. I mean, say amen. amen. Say, I decree. I decree. And I declare. And I declare. That 2023. That 2023. I will hear God's voice like never before. I will hear God's voice like never before. In 2023, tú y yo vamos a escuchar la voz de Dios. Más, más sensible que nunca en el nombre de Jesús. Number four. <laughs> Número cuatro. When, when, you, when you do this on prophetic um, um, fasting, cuando tú haces este ayuno profético, lo que va a pasar, vas a crear una atmósfera <laughs> de milagros. When you start doing this prophetic fasting, you will start create, creating an atmosphere of miracles. How many say amen? amen. amen. Say, I serve the God. I serve the God. Serve the God. Of signs, wonders, and miracles. Of signs, of signs, wonders. wonders. Yo sirvo al Dios de milagros, señales, y prodigios. <laughs> Matthew 16. Matthew 6, forgive me. Matthew 6, verse 16 through 18. Matthew chapter 6, verse 16 through 18. Moreover, when you fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. 17. But thou, when thou fast, anoint thy head, and watch thy face that thou appears not unto men to fast, but unto thy father, which is in secret. And thy father, which sees in secret, shall reward thee openly. How many say amen? Amen. 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 What this is saying, basically, don't um, play the <laughs> part and start acting like you're, in, like you're doing a fast. Getting your stomach, look, putting like a sad face so people say something wrong with you. Uh, have you eaten today? Um, no, it's because I'm fasting. See, God doesn't like those kinds of attitudes. God doesn't like those kind of ways. A Dios no le agrada cuando tú uh, aparentas como los hipócritas que están aparentando, que están ayunando con una cara de, de, de limón chupado. Allí, you know, como que no hay en la puerta. Dios, lo que Él mira en secreto, Él te va a bendecir. In public, what God sees you that you're doing in secret, he's already going to reward you publicly. Say, God is about to bless me in front of your face in Jesus' name. God is about to bless, about to bless me in Jesus' name. name. You know, this Sunday, the Lord, <laughs> uh, on Saturday, the Lord told me there was a dying woman in Los Angeles and she was about to die. And and um, it's the grandmother of, of um, Evangelist William. And the Lord right away, he said, he told me, he said, you have to go because um, William has found favor in my sight. And, and I'm about to bless his family. And so then I, uh, right away, the Lord gave me the plan, like within minutes. He said, you're going to go to Ricardo's family. You guys going to have a service there. And you're going to go to um william's family and you guys gonna have, have a service there <clears throat> and um and when i was um meditating on this the lord told me don't eat too much in the house of ricardo because you need to fill your spirit i need to fill your spirit because i'm gonna perform a supernatural miracle i'm gonna raise this woman from the dead, from the death, because she was dying. The hospice, what, uh, the hospice nurse was there, family member was there. Everything that I'm saying, I got my, my spiritual sons there. 
as witness to say that everything that I'm saying word by word is the truth and not a lie. I mean, is that true, um, Ricardo and William? Amen, amen, that's the truth, yeah. And so the Lord told me not, not to eat so much, you know, he could just have a bite to eat. And, it, and, and I didn't tell nobody, did I tell you guys? Nope, you didn't. Oh. Oh. But then, I don't know who it was, I think it was William, he said, ah, I think the Lord, that is why the Lord told you not to eat so much so you can be filled with the spirit. <laughs> See, I knew what was going on and I knew what was God was about to do. And, and God gave me the instructions. And, th and this is what happened when I when um we when you we we make the prophetic fasting makes the atmosphere and atmosphere of miracles. The woman was was there dying. She was crying in a lot of pain, and she had the oxygen going, and and you could tell that you know she was suffering, and so. Uh, <laughs> I told the woman, say that, repeat this in Spanish, these words, you know, and and then um, first she went like this, but it wasn't her, you know. When you go like this, what what does this mean? Huh? She can't, she can't hear, understand. She can't hear. Yeah, you cannot understand. You cannot hear. But you know, I saw the demon, and I've been in this walk for many years that I know how those demons react and what they do. They, they, they never change their strategy, it's the same strategy, but people never discern that it's the same strategy. Most people don't discern, but it's the same strategy. So when I saw the demon doing this, you know, I just started to say, repeat it. And then um, her daughter, which is William's grandmother, she said, no, um, she doesn't speak Spanish, but she only speaks dialect from, from Oaxaca. Okay, so I'll speak in Spanish and you interpret. <laughs> How many say amen? amen? Amen. So I started speaking in Spanish as soon as I said, repeat this, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And she said it in dialect. And then I accept you, Jesus, as Lord and Savior of my life. She started speaking in Spanish and everyone was astonished, you know. <laughs> Amen. You know? Amen. Amen. The woman that could not talk, the woman <laughs> that can not talk Spanish and English, and could not talk. Now she's talking, and and she's talking in Spanish, and she accepted Jesus. And as soon as she said the prayer, and I put my hands, I felt the anointing coming upon her. Eramaya, Eramakanda. The pain, the suffering went away and she oh. came into a peace, into an atmosphere of peace. Hallelujah. Amen. And everybody was looking like, oh my God, is this a miracle? It's too good to be true. You know, people, people um, get surprised more of when God does a miracle in seconds and, 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 and they want a miracle to take a long time. So they go to witches and psychics for for their for their answer, you know. Yeah. Say not me, but those other ones. <laughs> the wish you watch it with her. I wish you watch it. Man, man, wish you watch it. <laughs> How many say amen? Amen. 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 Say neighbor. Neighbor. Si vecino es Dios te va a sorprender hoy en el nombre de Jesús. Si vecino no te va a sorprender hoy en el nombre de Jesús. God is about to surprise you tonight. Dios te va a sorprender en esta noche. Tú vas a, eh, eh, vas a sentir dolor. You might be feeling pain. And when we get out from this um, um, meeting, you're not going to have it no more. You're going to have a sickness. And when we get away from, the sick, from this meeting, the sickness is going to leave in the mighty name of Jesus. Cuando tú a lo mejor te sientes enferma con un dolor, un sufrimiento, de, terminando este... Esta enseñanza, todo eso se va a ir fuera en el nombre de Jesús. All that is going to go away in the mighty name of Jesus. How many say amen? amen. amen. Let's give a clap for it to Jesus. Hallelujah. Say, so neighbor, you're in for a big surprise. Neighbor, you're in for a big surprise. And check this out. 
the 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 grandmother William's grandmother she was looking at me with the same look <laughs> like Papa Lo. And I'm gonna tell you, she was she was I know that she was seeing um uh, an angel behind me and around me because I asked the Lord to do that when when I will go there to to for to be re, to release. I called upon the 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 angels of Buffalo to go into that um, house in that uh, room so that they could do that miracle. How many say amen? Amen. amen. See, the <laughs> angels are there. The angels. I'm just gonna throw this in. The angels are there to help <laughs> us in time of trouble, in time of need. Amen. I always say this. There's a lot of angels. Los ángeles están allí para 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 ayudarnos a nosotros. Pero tú no le llamas a los ángeles, por eso no te ayudan. You don't call upon them, and and and, um, and that's why they don't help you. I say there's a lot of angels that are are under unemployment, receiving unemployment checks. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't put them to work. Hay muchos ángeles que están recibiendo um, desempleo porque tú no los pones a trabajar. Y allí están de, flo de flojos. They're there of laziness. Mm. And they're there, ah, oh, call me, call me so I can go um, prosper you. Llámame para prosperarte. Llámame para sanar. Go, um, call upon me because they're healing. <laughs> call upon me so I can protect you from all evil, from all temptation, and from that accident on the highway. How many say amen? Amen. Llámame. Llama al ángel de protección para protegerte en el camino. Para protegerte de toda maldad y toda tentación. They're there to help you. So then, check this out. <laughs> the It was a Filipino woman from the Philippines, and she was the, hus the hospice nurse. She said, I want to give my life to the Lord. I want prayer. Oh. Yeah. 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 And then everybody wanted prayer. And, and, and with all due respect, you know, there was some religious um, relatives <laughs> of, of, of Evangelist William. And, and you know what? They all received prayer and they were all surprised. And I, yeah. I, 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 you know, when you go to a place like that, never waste too much time. You know why? Because it's not you doing it. It's God, the God in you doing everything. So he has to do other miracles somewhere else. How many say amen? Amen. amen. You got to leave them hanging and astonished, you know? How many say amen? Amen. amen. Say, neighbor? Neighbor. What God did to that woman, he's going to do that in your life. What, what God does for the woman. The woman that do that in, my life. in other words, if you feel you're, you're dying, it's time to fill the spirit man with that <laughs> prophetic fasting. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Did, did I read Matthew 16, 16 through 18? Yes, right? Yes. yes. Okay. And the last, lo último, numero cinco, number five. You have to be consumed 100% of God's word. Tú tienes que estar consumido 100% con la palabra de Dios. We have yes. to feed the spirit and not so much the flesh. Tenemos que... Dale de comer al espíritu y no mucho a la carne, a este cuerpo, a este estómago. <coughs> That's why a lot of us are having a one pack instead of a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where this one pack came from, but you know what? It's going to go out in Jesus' name. <laughs> no, I, I do know where it comes from. <laughs> It comes from all those burritos, hamburgers, cakes, uh -huh. quesadillas, French fries, etc., etc. But I'm gonna get it together. Say, neighbor, I'm gonna get it together. Neighbor, I'm gonna get it together. Mi vecino, vecina, me voy a poner lista, listo. Me voy a poner las baterías ahora en el nombre de Jesús. Amen, amen. Amen. How many say amen? Amen. Amen. And the scriptures, the scriptures, one cuatro thirty two, John four thirty two. 
But he said unto them, I have meat to uh -huh. eat that ye know not of. Pero yo tengo comida de la que tú no conoces. Uh, uh, what comida? What food? The fresh manna from heaven. El maná del cielo. Remember that? Fresh manna in the desert. And the people of Israel, they were fed up. La, 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 el pueblo de Israel se, se enfadó del maná y quería carne. They, want, they wanted um, meat. And you know what? God was trying to help them. They had everything in the substance of the manna. Tenían toda la sustancia. They had all the, the, the nutrients, the vitamins. Everything was in that manna that God made it from heaven, especially <laughs> for them in the desert. But they wanted meat. So you know what happened? God sent them the meat. Dios le mandó la carne. And the Bible says that they ate um, the meat so much that it came out of their noses and their mouth. And they died. Se murieron. Sometimes, people of God, we have to be very careful that we eat so much and, 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 and you know, that can cause problems. How many say amen? amen? Amen. But instead, be filled with God's word and it will satisfy you. Instead, have communion and it will feed you. In these days of fasting, let me tell you when we're Having communion, we felt very full immediately. We experienced something supernaturally. How many say amen? Amen. Mateo 4.4, Matthew 4.4. And with this, we finished. Y con esto terminamos. Matthew 4.4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Pero él contestó y dijo, Está escrito el hombre... No solo de pan vivirá, pero de cada palabra que salga de la boca de Dios. See, as a prophet of God, I, whenever I release a prophetic word, that's going to bring life into your dead situations. Amen. Cada vez cuando yo suelto una palabra profética de Dios, eso te va a alimentar. That's going to bring um, food for your spirit and this and you will become alive and you will not die how many say amen amen, amen. amen. so there is power in the prophetic word of god hay poder amen. en la palabra profética de dios y hay poder en el ayuno profético de dios and there is power in the prophetic fasting of god amen amen there are amen. some situations that jesus said these these demons, these spirits, will only come out through fasting and praying. I see unas hay unas situaciones, hay unos casos que solamente con ayuno oración van a salir esos demonios. That's why you have to always be ready and prepared in season and what? Out of season. You out of season. You guys that 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 hang around with me, you guys. Know that, you know, you guys better be ready because I will put you in a situation. Uh, I'm a person, I'm a, I'm a kind of prophet that I will throw you into the water. And if you do not know how to swim, you will learn to swim right away. Yo soy un profeta de Dios que si no sabes nadar, yo te voy a empujar en la agua. Y vas a comenzar a nadar. Vas a aprender a nadar. ¿Cómo va esa canción? Yo voy a nadar en el río de Dios. I'm going to swim in the river of God. You know, I don't want to be just, I don't want the water just to be to my ankles. No quiero que esté nomás a mis tobillos. I don't want it to be just to my knees. No quiero que esté las aguas en mis rodillas. I just don't want the water to be just in my knees. No, I want the water to be filled, to fill me, to overflow me in Jesus' name. Quiero que esa agua me sumerge. I want to be submerged in that prophetic water. How many say amen? Amen. I'm going to pick three people um, just real quick to see what they learn, what they receive tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Karen, what did you receive? What did you learn? Hello, sorry, had my yes. mic on. Um, okay. For me, I didn't do the fasting, but I did pray. Um, I've learned a lot through you about fasting and what a beautiful miracle that happened with you and William and Ricardo. What a blessing. And it makes me all the more know that when I call my angels, to protect my baby on her way to Bakersfield or my other baby driving on the road or this other baby I have here or whomever, I know that they're listening to me and that makes me feel good. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. They're <laughs> always, you know, are with us. The angels are with us. Sometimes we're not with them. And and, and also yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna release this. Voy a soltar esto. Los ángeles siempre están contigo y también Dios es siempre está contigo. God is always with you. Even if you mess up, he's still with you. Yes, yes. He I'm says, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I will be with you to the end. But you yes. better make sure that you're with God in this year, yes. 2023. How many yes. say amen? Amen. amen. Or, Papa came, her whole face was blue. Yeah. In the following, that was, uh, that was the spirit of death upon her. Is that the spirit wow. of the Yeah, yeah. When I came back, she was like a light, a light bulb. And, yeah, and, and she wanted me to pray. <laughs> never before that, she would never ask for prayer. She would tell me, Don't talk about Jesus. Mm. Oh, yeah. after that, like she was a more of a believer than I would say me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. I, I just saw something I have never seen before. Estaba like, compartiendo William que eh, su um, abuelita nunca pedía oración y nunca quería saber de Jesús. Pero cuando este milagro ahora ya le está pidiendo oración a William para que ore en el nombre de Jesús. And you know what? She had three days that she didn't eat nothing. Tenía tres días que no comía nada. And on that day, when I prayed, she started eating, and she's been eating. Oh. Look, look at the God of signs, <laughs> wonders, and miracles. Oh, that's true. And yeah. she walked the following day. She walked around the house. Too. And she oh, got up and walked. Gosh. When she couldn't even walk. Yes, oh. she was just thrown. Well, you, I, I put it on Facebook and on Instagram. So you uh, you lo puse at Facebook, Instagram. I lo puse there. You can see it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. My daughter Alexandra from, and I will go pray for the sick. Me, me, me llamaban en mis, en mis primeros años de ministerio, me llamaban de todos, de todos diferentes hospitales, from different hospitals, different cities, to go pray for the sick. And there was an incident. Había un, una situación que me llamaron como a las tres de la mañana. They come at three in the morning and they say, there's this lady that's dying and she just keeps asking that um, somebody gave her the number and she believed that that she wants you to pray for her and she's in her last breath. I was so tired and I said to myself, just tell her that I'll be there at seven or at eight. Dile que ahí voy a las siete o las ocho. So I went at seven, uh, after seven, when I got there, um, I didn't see nobody in the room. And I said, um, where's the lady that called me? Oh, she just died like around two, three hours ago. So mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit convicted me. He said, it was your fault because mm -hmm. if you would have came, she would have lived and she would have went to heaven and she would have accepted Jesus. Man, man, so from that day, I repented and I made a covenant with God. God, wherever you want to take me, I'm going to go, you know, say that so. I'm going to go do your work. Señor, donde me quieran llevar, yo voy allí. Porque lo que pasó, esa, esa mujer que, que me pidió oración, yo no fui en la madrugada y fui horas después y se murió. Y el Espíritu Santo me trajo convicción que era mi culpa. Y ella se fue al infierno. She went to hell. And she did not accept Jesus. So, mm -hmm. you know, Lives are at stake 
for the obedience of us unto the Lord. Yes. Hay vidas y almas que están disponibles, que están um, esperando para que nosotros vayamos a salvarlos y sanarlos y liberarlos. How many say amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, and we finish on uh, Evangelist Alexa, you want to share something? Um, this Saturday and Sunday, we have the Women's Prophetic Conference. Women, you are chosen. Tenemos la conferencia profetica. Mujer, tú eres escogida. Let me tell you, woman of God, you have to be there either through Zoom or um, if not in, in, in through Zoom, in person. <laughs> si no puedes estar en persona, pues por el Zoom. And, and, and let me tell you, God is going to use um, these mighty speakers. Dios va a usar a estas... Um, predicadores, predicadoras en una manera muy especial. It's really, we're not going to do it through through Facebook because it will not be fair for those people that um that are are paying, you know, for, for the Zoom link. <laughs> no, no sería um, uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, eh, eh, no sería bueno para si um, uh, lo pusiera por el Facebook y todo el mundo lo está mirando gratis cuando Otros pagaron. Hallelujah. So, this is the Women's Prophetic Conference. You know, uh, invite somebody. Invita a, a alguien para este fin de semana aquí en la ciudad de Bakersfield, California. Do we have uh, any other announcements? Mm. We have the, I want you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Quiero que suscribas. Uh, al canal de YouTube, aleluya. Y ahí están todos los medios de, de los medios de sociales que estamos. Those are all the social media that we're in, aleluya. Praise the name of Jesus. Say praise the name of Jesus. Praise, praise the name of Jesus. I'm gonna pray for your sin and for your need. Voy a orar por tu um, ofrenda. Y por tu necesidad. Father God, Padre Todopoderoso, te damos gracias por esta noche. We give you thanks for this evening. We ask you that you will bless and multiply the seed. Lord, that you will meet every need according to your riches and glory. Padre, te damos gracias por esta semilla que tu pueblo está sembrando. Que tú la bendigas y que tú la multipliques y que tú suples toda necesidad. Ahora, Señor, declaramos un milagro sobrenatural. Lord, we decree a supernatural miracle, Father. And we pray for those that are flying from out of town and out of state and out of the country. That you will protect them and guide them to this place. Padre, oramos por aquellos que van a, a viajar eh, por avión o por carro de afuera de la ciudad, fuera del el estado fuera del país, que tú los traigas con bien, Padre, que tus ángeles acampen alrededor de ellos, that your angels will protect them and surround them at all times so that they will be here safe in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father God, if there's anyone sick in body, that you will bring healing and restoration tonight. Y Padre, si hay alguien que está enfermo en esta noche, que tú traigas sanidad, Y restauración. Yo declaro descanso y un milagro en tu vida. I decree and I declare rest and a miracle in your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless all of you. God bless you, Lisa. And those you. are the ways to sow your seed. Así lo que está por Cash App o por Zell. <laughs> Aleluya. Ahí está la información. There is the information through Zell, Cash App in other ways to sow your seed. May the Lord bless you, and I love you. Que el Señor te bendiga, y los amo a todos. See you this weekend. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless all of you.